Hello YouTube, welcome out to another Magic Monday or whatever day it is you're watching this. Uh, I was just talking about it, but I was, uh, I've been feeling a little tired of Brothers War Draft. It just, I don't think I've been enjoying it as much, uh, as much as I have been for previous formats. So I don't, we're not going to draft today. No, no drafts. We're going to do something different. I think I'm going to make some Explorer decks, AKA Babby Pioneer. I'm going to try to take my current Pioneer deck and see how well I can get that into Explorer. So we're going to see some deck brewing and deck construction and then testing it against some actual opponents. So that'll be the plan for today. And if you're watching this over on the VOD channel, thank you so much for subscribing and liking the video. The comments below do help too. Especially letting me know if you like seeing constructed stuff and not just limited all the time. That kind of feedback is always appreciated. And always check me out over live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash projared. Join the Discord, discord.gg slash projared. Let's play some magic. Oh, also, you're going to hear some music in the background. You'll always have the uh, thing in the upper left letting you know artist, song, where it's from. Magic time. All right, let's build a heckin' deck. I haven't done this in, like, a long time. I'm pretty sure I just got, like, old decks I'm not even using anymore. Ugh, historic? Let's go ahead and delete that. Bolus. Delete that. I don't know, some sack shit that can get deleted. Alchemy. Delete. Ugh. All right. So the main thing I'm trying to build the deck around is in Soul Artifact. Hold on, can I make this traditional explorer? Yeah, there we go. to Pingo, thanks for the resub. All right, so I guess I'm gonna take a lot of things that's in my current Pioneer deck. We'll start with that. So we're gonna need like four ginger roots. Uh, maybe some ornithopters. Retro frames, obviously. Need that. What's the difference between regular and traditional? Best of one versus best of three. That's it. Random me with the resub. Anything in particular that makes the current draft unfun? Uh, quite honestly, it's because it's such an aggressive format. A lot of it comes down to who wins the die roll and gets to go first. That's not the case like 100% of the time. But it is a lot of the time. And it's enough to make me like get just too frustrated by it. I kind of want to try the Urza's Battle Thopter for this because it gives all my artifact spells flash. And that could be cool. I don't know if that's a good enough choice. Um, actually, just Urza cards in general. Because there's three mana Urza, which makes artifacts cost less. Or the four mana Urza, which gives all artifact creatures plus two, plus two, which is pretty good but I don't know that might be too slow for the deck get the four install artifacts in there I could put the meld in there uh, the deck is too low of the ground too aggressive for that so we won't do that are we drafting or sealed neither we're doing some constructed And of course, my favorite boy, Patrick Automaton, he's going in. Because that ward uh, does work. Uh, what the heck else was in my deck? I know I had things like even Springleaf Drums. Just because it's another artifact and can help ramp up mana. Uh, what else do I want? I had stuff like Tormod's Crypt for sideboard purposes. I've used Hope of Gearport before, but that one has never felt good enough. Okay. 
Craft Digger's Cage could be a good sideboard tech. Might need to like go get my actual physical deck so I can remember. I haven't played Paper Pioneer since before the pandemic. Shadow Spear? I had Shadow Spear in as a one of. Maybe Reckon or Bankbuster could be okay. Uh, and then what I've used before, I've used like Emery before as means of being able to recur artifacts. Uh, if I want to go the blue-white version, I could do the um, Ingenious Smith. Because it helps find an artifact. Anytime you play an artifact, she gets bigger. And then she herself can just be a threat. If I did Emery, I'd only do like a two of. Because you have to mill. Yosha declares war. I'm not trying to build red, though. That could be interesting if it... Because there is a blue-red shell as well. Based around, like, um, shrapnel blasts and getting your guys double strike. Yo, Coach Pickle, thank you for the Twitch Prime resub. And Donkey Bard. What if I just search the word artifact? Use portable holes before. That might be more of a uh, sideboard option. Yeah, we brewing. I'm going to turn on the chat for uh, for the magic streams. Glass Casket's also really good. That's Exile Target Creature. There's also Michiku's Reign of Truth, which can do work. I liked Lion Sash as well, but it might be too slow. Did I have my... Did I have my Pioneer deck, like, saved anywhere? Oh, Blackstaff of Waterdeep. I kind of like those, just because it's like another another artifact that can also make things into big creatures. You can also consider Karn options. Imagine this Karn, because it makes the... Uh... Which one he makes the... Yeah, this guy, because he makes the Constructs. This actually could be better than Springleaf Drum. Because it has the channel ability in there. That way it's helpful later in the later game. Instead of Springleaf Drum? That could be a maybe. Bankbuster's right for this deck. I feel like I'm already spending mana. And I got other means of like getting cards out. So 
think we take those out. I'm interested by using the Mune Snare instead of Springleaf Drums. Just because it's a little more helpful later on. I only play like two of them. Is part of the whole main deckable? At least a couple. At least have a couple more in sideboard, if not all four. Maybe I don't want the Battle Thopter. May not want the Battle Thopter. No, 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 no. I like the one Soul Guide Lantern. Again, just as a one of. I'm gonna take out that. I'm not even sure about Emery, to be honest. Something like Michiku's Reign of Truth might be better, just because it can help suddenly pump out a lot of extra damage. Uh, I haven't even messed with my lands yet, but I know I need, like, Dark Steel Citadel. What's the main card for the deck? Insole Artifact. One in a blue Injet Artifact, it just becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Super good. I always, uh, when I first built this deck, back when... Uh, freaking Pioneer first came into existence. I tried using Antiquities War. I feel like it's just a little too slow and it's at four mana. I feel like if I have Ingenious Smith, I may not need Emery if I go this route. There's a part of me that might lean the more blue red side, though. I like the Patchwork Automatons. Here, I can like, I'll move my lands over. Might be a little bit easier to see the deck. It's a, it is a pretty aggressive setup. At least anytime I played it, I always played it pretty aggressively. I don't think I had Portable Hole as a main deck, though. I think all of those go sideboard. Well. No, I guess we'll keep the two. If I'm being real with myself, I may not need Ornithopters as much. What if I swap out the Emery's for, like, the Michiko's Reign of Truth? This is only, like, a 20 land deck, by the way. Maybe 22. Not drafted today, but any tips for Brothers War? Uh, if During the drafting process, some of the first things you should be looking at are the artifact cards. Delay your choice of what color to play as for as long as possible. Play colorless cards in like any deck. It'll help you a lot. If I wanted to be a little more responsive, I could have like metallic rebukes. I usually have at least some of these in the sideboard. I don't know if I want two in main board though.
Maybe blue or red would be better just because of all the stuff that came out of um, Kamigawa. Like Voltage Surge. That first strike dog that can be used as a treasure. Alright, let's I'm gonna actually fix up my lands here. Probably would have been easier just to search for the lands I actually wanted rather than going through all of this. So do like one I ganjo. One Ota Otawara. Don't think I would do like Jawari Disruption. Combat Courier? Ah. Uh, I don't know if he would be impactful enough. Uh, do I want Deserted Beaches or. Might just be Atacar Wastes. I think those actually might be better. Run like two of those. Two deserted beach. I don't know if I can get away with glacial fortresses because I'm not going to be running a whole lot of plains and islands. All four hinge gate pathways, absolutely. All, all four hollowed fountains. That's one, two, four, six, ten. That's 14 lands. 18 lands. Then do like two planes, two islands. That would make it 22 lands. And I still got a couple of slots left in the main deck. main deck it, but I, I like having at least a couple glass caskets in the sideboard. Yeah, what are my other, like, sideboard options? Um, Ether Gust. Usually a couple of those in sideboard is good, because a lot of people are going to be playing mono green. Um... What about hate cards were there? Maybe just like a one of negate. What was that bounce spell? Maybe just like a Brothers War stuff. Could you like machine over matter? Because it would be a bounce spell for any permanent, which allows me to protect my own stuff, but also could potentially. Oh, surge engines. I wanted surge engines in the deck because these seem amazing. Unblockable. And if it gets unanswered, it just gets bigger and draws cards. My stone animation is too expensive. Yeah, I wanted a couple of surge engines. Maybe I don't want the metallic rebukes and I just keep that. Keep that to the side. Um. Uh, 
Oh, I know what else I'm missing. Okay. I think I actually have more things to do with my lands. Did they bring... They brought Mutavaults in, right? Oops. They don't have Mutavault yet? Oh, is that coming tomorrow? There is also a Mitra's Foundry, which can become an artifact creature, but it costs more. Whereas Mutavault can get activated for only one. There's a part of me that considered having Mitra's Foundry over Mutavaults because it is an artifact creature, but I think because Mutavault can be activated for only one, those might be a better option. Okay, so I won't have those for now. There's also Spire of Industry. Bring a couple of those lands in. I don't know if I actually play the Deserted Beach at all. Like the Spires of Industry would just be more reliable than that. I don't even know if I want two basics. Maybe when Mutavault becomes available, I'll take out a planes and an island, bring in the Mutavault. So this all looks okay. I'm not sold on the Metallic Rebukes main deck. What's in my sideboard? Portable holes, glass caskets, ether guts, one negate. Got the one of Shadow Spear, the one of Soul Guide Lantern. Let's grab more. Oops. Do two more Soul Guide Lanterns in sideboard? I think. Um. There are more counter spells I'd like to use in a lot. Oh, something like Mystical Dispute. Such so is an amazing counter for blue. Um, and that same thing, Disdainful Stroke. Two of those. All right, two more spots for sideboard stuff. Psy Master Thopterist? I'll put him there for now. But also, I'm not super sure which situation I would need that for. Are there any, like, any anti-green stuff? There was the Aether Gust. I just know mono green is a, a big thing in uh, Pioneer right now. According to this, I got 15. Alright. This is the current build for uh, for the insult artifact. You know, I probably could get away with going down to 20 lands if my max thing is 3 and only sometimes. Let's just give it a shot. Oops. Save. Oh, hold on. We got we got to change some more things. Oops. How do I? Avatar, we go Urza or Tezzeret? We'll go Urza. I was wanting to change the deck box. I don't see an option to do that. I want the option to, how do I change the deck? Oh, right there it is. Boop, there we go. 
Gotta get the scissors in the front. Alright, let's give it a shot. What's got me off limited today? Uh, just not really enjoying limited. Alright, let's just do some uh, constructed best of three. Oh, but first, we got a booster pack opening. Chat, in case you don't know, when you hang out in the chat, you can earn your gold pieces for different rewards, such as opening up a booster pack of your choosing. We got one from Idaho Wolf Club. Idaho Wolf Club, what'd you want opened? You got a few options to choose from. Anything you want to see. I am out of Pokemon, for the record. Anything shiny? Yeah, we can do shiny. The shiniest ones are gonna be all of the Brothers War Collector's Booster, because every card in here is shiny. Huh? Look at all these shiny cards. We got Dwarven Forge Chanter, a Power Stone Engineer, Blitz Automaton, Machine Over Matter, Junkyard Genius, No One Left Behind, and the Forest. Okay. All right. First rare card. Oh, Teething Wormlet. He's adorable. Foil one. How about a FOIA? Oh, a Full Art Blast Zone. I actually had not seen a Full Art Blast Zone yet. That actually is pretty cool. Nice. Uh, a Full Art Urza's Workshop. This is a Commander card, but very cool. Ooh. A uh, schematic version of Liquid Metal Coating. Mishra's Bottle Schematic. Nice. And a Maze Mind Tome. I believe you still have a Transformers card waiting for you, though. Yep, Ratchet. <laughs> There's a Transformers card in every pack. Ratchet, the Field Medic, Transformers. And one last card. Ooh, Foil Unwinding Clock. People love Unwinding Clock. There we go. Plenty of shiny cards there for you. I think actually the best thing we got out of this whole pack was the schematic Mishra's Bobble. There you go. Hope you enjoyed it. That was your booster pack opening. Now let's actually go play some magic. Morning, Ray Ray. How are you? That place so little constructed. All right, we got a one lander. Weirdly keepable. I'm gonna keep the Ornithopters. If I can get Ingenious Smith down into Ornithopter, that'll get me another artifact right away. Plus one, plus one, plus one Connors. The old one land Jared. So now if I don't draw mana though, that's still fine because I can just keep dropping Ginger Brutes. Third path Iconoclast. I can also just play this down as a 1 1. Which isn't very good. Okay. Maybe a one lander wasn't quite enough.
Is untapped running? Uh, it should be. Let me make sure that Twitch has got it set up. Extensions. Still on land. Uh, says untapped should be going. Yeah, this is an insult deck, Luke. So this is more reason to play a uh, blue-red version. Obliterating Bolt is just so good. Dun, 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 Not really worried about blocking those right now when I can just get an ornithopter down. That, however, is trouble. I knew you needed my help. Yup, you're going down. Well, I did finally get a land, but it's a pain land. I can also go Patchwork Automaton to Ornithopters and let them beef up. If I really need to kill Chandra, I can use Michiko's Reign of Truth onto the Ornithopter and attack into her. Hmm, oh, I have to get Crackling Drake down to block. This is a 22 land deck, but also has this moon snare prototypes. Get in for two. Okay. So now it's how badly do I want to kill Chandra right now? So I can go Ornithopter, Michigo Arena Truth. This gets plus five, plus five, and I can swing into her. And I'm pretty vulnerable on the ground, though. This just might be too much trouble since I am just... Missed too many land drops. Yeah, I'm a fan of Shrapnel Blast. Sweet. It's a great way to finish out matches or take things out. Tom Thief, thanks for the Twitch Prime resub. I haven't seen this uh, deck before. I don't think it's a Phoenix deck. They'll be playing more discard stuff. I think this is just blue-red spells go wide with third path iconoclast. Now just to behold the multiverse, you know. Do it. 
do it. Secret reach. I just fucked that up. I just let them connive into a bigger ledger shredder. I forgot for a second how ledger shredder works. I think they're just wide enough to beat me here. I'm gonna scoop it up. They got too many one ones on the ground and I just cannot. All right, maybe keeping a one lander isn't enough. All right, so they're playing that, huh? Mystical Disputes take care of Letter Shredders and Crackling Ricks. go more portable holes or glass cats gets to be better I think it's portable holes is better could bring out the side master thopterus since they're trying to go wide with uh one ones this would kind of let me match it Let's go down one hole up a side. All right, my plan this game is to get lands. There we go. They're not playing black for shield red. They're just playing straight blue red spells. like installing the dark steel citadel right now because having that be indestructible it's gonna be pretty big since they're playing a lot of red base removal nah, i'm not even gonna give you the opportunity my dude Insult one of the ginger brutes. Would still be vulnerable to obliterating bolts. I don't know if that's correct. Now let's go ornithopter and swing in. You spent in general from the meta? I got the sustainable strokes inside board, yeah. Oops, didn't mean to swing a thunder after there, but that's okay. Don't know why I played Hollow Fountain untapped. I'm just don't care if they block or not. I 
I guess Insult does bring him up to a 5-5, five five, which puts him just out of range of Obliterating Bolt. That's actually kind of nice. A Braid is also very much a thing, though. So I think keeping it on something indestructible is the correct choice. The only thing that would suck is if they start pooping out 1-1s. One -ones. Should have played the land there. Don't know why I didn't. Because I'm too used to limited and I haven't played Pioneer in a long time. Alright, so now we're going to be on the draw, which makes me want to be... Lean a little bit more into answers. Which is really what this setup was. Whatever. Could bring in Daneful, Disdainful Stroke just to have an answer for Chandra. The Mystic Rebukes kind of do the same thing. Read down a Stone Coil Serpent. Just up and negate. Could do Disdainful Stroke, but negate gives me more coverage. It's all lands? Always has been. No! You weren't supposed to have that yet. It has to be blocking or attacking creature. Fine. Electric Kelly, thank you for the resub. Glad you enjoyed the Chandelier playthrough again. I think it's better for me to start building the Automaton. Then worry about the letter shredder, because I've got a means of dealing with it right now. Second letter shredder might be trouble. Because this play out is a 3 3 with reach. That's probably better because that, that does beef the automaton I can attack in. Handful of land. Probably should have kept all the portable holes in there just because letter shredders are so good. Well, that's hateful. You're shooting my ornithopter? But he's a good boy. What has he done to you? Did 
such as a behold? Remember when you can interact with an environment? And they just kind of like got rid of that? Both still two fours. I can wait, do way more damage to you than you can do to me. Yeah, you could like click around on the board and have stuff happen. Please try to figure out if I can outspeed the opponent in damage right now. If I double spell, they will get the connive again, but I can swing in for seven. They go to ten, they swing back for six. I have a ganja to get rid of a blocker. I think I got it, because they could probably connive and get them up to three fives, which make a ganja worse. No, that's actually pretty worth it. This builds Ingenious Smith, builds the Automaton. I imagine they're just looking to ditch lands here so they keep more interaction in their hand. Because any one they make bigger is the one I'm going to get rid of. Whoa, Niv Mizzet! Sir! That felt pretty good, though. Using Ingenious Smith to find an answer for Ledger Shredder. Just plays with fire to the face. Seems aggressive. Oh, sweltering suns deal three to everything. But I'm just too thick. Fantastic. Oh yeah, that's game. Swing in, I ganjo, kill him, trample it. Oh, I don't have trample on this guy. Fuck, never mind. This works too. And second five five. Blah. Okay, anything that I want to tweak right away? Anything that you guys notice should be tweaked? Uh, 
Cowabunga! Well, nothing I can immediately think of. Yeah. I think for its uh, only one match, nothing stood out. I was like, ooh, maybe not. Let's go! I have so many options. This is a very keepable hand. How do I want to play it out, though? Those recruitment officer? I think we start start beefing. Go bigger! Go bigger! I attack for eight! More! More! <laughs> okay. Just bring in some more spot removal. Looks like they're just kind of being low to the ground. One of the things I think this deck fears the most is temporary lockdown. But I don't really think anyone's playing it. This guy won't be. With how much they're playing like cheap low the ground creatures with like that recruitment officer they're not gonna play that mmm surge engine to a hopeful initiate Do I hit that right away? I think I'm just going to need to be mining on fishing here. Next turn we go Ingenious Smith to Ornithopter. That means nothing. Stone Quail Serpent, I suppose. Okay, this looks better. I think you control get plus one plus one. Whenever he does a thing, you get a thing. When another human enters the battlefield under your control, exile a card from an opponent's graveyard. Pay two, sack two humans, destroy creature with power four or greater. Okay. So Just 
shove him into the casket. Ah, oh, glad you enjoyed the Resident Evil 4 randomizer so much. Dauntless Bodyguard? That means nothing to me. Dahlia's Lieutenant. Ooh. It's a lot of plus one, plus one counters. Get back in the casket! <laughs> Another option is to go Ingenious Smith. Play Surge Engine. Find more artifacts, getting bigger. I'm leaning towards that just because of how it would spend more mana. And then I would have a 4 4 to block with. I could also find. Well, two insoles went to the bottom. Go surge engine. Homeboy can be unblockable. Looking to use Smith and Ornithopter to block in this coming turn. Depending if, you know, how big they go with Thalia's lieutenants and whatnot. What set is this from? What is that? Jumpstart? What is that? Maybe I just chump with Ornithopter so I can build Ingenious Smith, make Surge Engine unblockable, threaten lethal back at him. Coming in for six. I'm okay with this chump. I know I put a bunch of insoles at the bottom. So I don't think Ornithopter's gonna get insoled anytime soon. Another option is I use Ginger Brute and keep it back to block and sack to gain life. Have I been playing any Paper Magic lately? I have not, no. Did you just play a second Thalia? Oh, just to get that plus one plus one counter. Okay, that makes sense. Activate the surge engine. Get in for five. I think I go for a slightly more aggressive play. Yeah, this forces a block. So what would... How can the opponent kill me?
Do you have to kill me this turn or have an answer for Surge Engine? Okay. Hey, an artifact! Beep boop! I don't- I didn't think it was gonna be something like Settle the Wreckage. That'd be such a defensive spell in their deck. Bring the music back down. Level up! Brutal Cathar could have been more brutal. Okay. What else is in, what's in the Pioneer, like, meta right now? I know Mono Green's a thing. Show me... Mono Blue Spirits is popular. Abzan Grease Fang, per usual. I go first. A bit on the slower side, but keepable. I want to pop that down right away. I'll say yes. White black auras, mono red aggro, mono white humans. I know the deck I'm playing is like a tier two deck. I might make it to silver by the end of the season. Please, I got plenty of time. Love struck beast. That kind of works. You have to be an artifact, right? Yeah. Patchwork Automaton! Uh, oh, this adds colorless. I did that in the wrong order. I wanted to go portable hole into it. Ducked it up. Do kind of worry about the love struck beast. Do I take out the wolf or I take out the one one? So I don't have to worry about the love struck beast being able to attack. I think I go for the wolf. Should play the smith first. Uh, unless I go like this, this is pretty aggressive. I like, actually like that play. Rakdos midrange is also a monster in Pioneer right now. Ooh, okay. They could get the beast down. I insole the automaton. 
It comes a 7-7. Seven, seven. I can also always just install the portable hole. Besage use it? I get to find a land though. Hell yeah. Oh, summoning sickness though. Damn. Stone Coil Serpent. Or oh, another automaton. Lean a Stone Coil Serpent. Just because it'd be big and trample. I can get down for four right now. This Moonstar Prototypes actually feels pretty good. Kind of surprised by that one. Hmm, Questing Beast. What a beating. Alright, so you've always been Vigilant, Death Touch, Haste. Can't be blocked by creature's power two or less. Help damage planeswalkers. Combat damage will be dealt by creature control, can't be prevented. That's so many words. Do you think he would uh, block automaton? Just dies? You had the option to not die? Okay, so Ether Gusts coming in. Um, I think we go Glass Caskets. Won't need Soul Guide Lantern or Shadow Spear. Probably go down the Michigos. Um, Red Green seems like Disdainful Stroke would be a good idea. I think we see a lot of gold cards, so we down a stone coil serpent. I don't really know the matchup. Is portable hole like important for it, or is it? I mean, it doesn't hurt because they made a lot of tokens. I could go down Surge Engine since I'm being defensive. And maybe down one Surge. And up another Disdainful Stroke.
They must be sideboarding like you wouldn't believe right now. Honestly, pretty keepable. Elvish Mystic. I don't think he'll block. I wonder if it was better to get my Moonsnare prototype down. Just to start up a ramp. Selby Blood, thanks for the resub. Ooh, but we got the Automaton? I like getting it down because that ward can do big work right now. <laughs> Guys, think about seeing distant worlds next year. And by thinking about it, I mean like I'm gonna goddamn do it. There we go, love to see that. Full chap out just for the ward. Love to see it. Yeah, the last time I went and saw a Distant Worlds was like 2013. Maybe earlier than that. It's been a long time. I just want to go and cry at everything. Ah, shit! Ah, shit! Why didn't I keep up mana for Disdainful Stroke? I fucked up! And you cost four mana? Well, I can slowly build up the Ingenious Smith. Can also sack Ginger Brute in response, gain three life. I have seen video games live twice. Video games live is also fine, but they're a little more like, yeah, rock, you know, let's go, bros. Cinder vines or cinder vines. Whenever your opponent costs a non-creature spell, deals one damage to that player. Pay one, sack, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Interesting. So they can use it. To get the automaton. Not that it can block anyway. Why am I a blocker to be Ingenious Smith? So that probably gonna get in the casket. Ooh, second Smith? What could I find that would help? I only have one white mana, though. Now, I think we stick with this. Although, if I exile that, they can destroy the glass casket and love struck beast right back.
Or I could take out the tokens and Love Truck Beast can No, he's got the Elvish Mystic. All right. It's not a great option, but it is my best option. Leave up mana for Disdainful Stroke. Use Ginger Brute to um, do nothing. You have some bullshit? Absolutely not! Yo, what's up, Astrals? Alright, uh, so Embercleave's in this deck. <laughs> okay, so with that taken care of, suddenly things are looking more and more in my favor. Couple ginger brutes. I have two blockers. What would I fear the most? The Hydra coming alive? You gotta start putting pressure down. Doing all right. I I don't know how much you've been playing of uh of uh Brothers War Draft, but I finally got to the point where I was like, I don't think I'm enjoying this. So I like, I don't know. Second number cleave, I knew it! Blah! <laughs> huh? Now what? They wouldn't have third Ember Cleave, would they? I think I got chill. <laughs> Hear me out, third Ember Cleave. Uh, that's pretty good, too. Why do they like keep defaulting to using my Moonsnare prototype? Put this down for five. If I do that first and Smith goes up to a four four. I don't think I can attack back yet. Two armor cleaves down, two questing beasts down. Like obliterating bolt would have left me pretty vulnerable, so I like having a five fi up to potentially trade out for the Love Shark Beast. Or Fry. Don't think I want to go full into top deck mode. They have the layer of the Hydra still. Is this another goddamn Ember Cleave? Uh oh. Oh, uh, they're trying to go wide, use the Hydras.
Nope, still can't attack. Yeah, a single pair of scissors would be amazing right now. I'd put that on the Dark Steel Citadel. Or if I really if Ornithopter lives somehow, throw on the Ornithopter and start threatening their life total. Snake has protection from multicolored. Just a single pair of scissors. That's not good. I think I drew the wrong half of my deck. I lived, bitch. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So, I think I keep the Disdainful Strokes in there for Embercleave. Psy may not be too bad, just to go wide. Make a bunch of little 1-1s to chump with, although... This actually would be a situation where more metallic rebukes would be nice. Was there anything that Glass Casket could target that Portable Hole could not? Just Love Struck Beast? Let's bring in that Shadow Spear, because the Life Link could be the most important thing just to get through damage. Big thing is just having answers for Amber Cleave. I'm trying to play around it. Or Questing Beast. So let's try to keep those things in mind going into this. You did the calculations, me not getting the scissors was really unlikely. <laughs> yeah, math. Okay. Kind of a choice between playing blue or white right now with only one color to land in hand. That's a little scary. 
I can get Automaton down to Ornithopter, start building. Turn after that, either use blue to get offensive or white. I don't know. It's really going to come down to what other land I can get here. I can work with that. I have a questing beast down as early as next turn. Could have been Flame Bolt, but I think they would have hit the Automaton in response to the Moon Snare. Blurring Bolt's sorcery speed. Next turn I have the mana to glass cast to get and in soul. And the damage race is on. This is a very aggressive thing. I attack for nine? Rending volley isn't on arena? I don't know. I am in top deck mode, though. I think if you have an indestructible 5-5, five five, that... What would they have to really answer that? Nothing I can think of. I mean, the Citadel has put him down two turns. Just keep the ginger brute back for uh, a snack. Just Ember leaves it. Okay. Now you have to block the questing beast and it's gonna die.
Oh, do they have second questing beast? Second questing beast would do it. No? Alright, that's fantastic news. Scissors. It's a bone crusher giant. I cannot attack. I'm gonna get this spire down in case you get like ingenious smith and have extra artifacts to play. I couldn't attack there because they could have activated the layer of hydra and swung back for lethal. Dak, why? I would have accepted another Moonsnare prototype. It becomes target of the spell, so this is an ability. So I would technically be able to bounce that if I had a second Moonsnare. He's got it. Hmm. The matchup didn't feel too bad, though. You know? Is there anything else I would have wanted instead for the deck, though? I don't know. I'm not a uh, hundred percent certain on uh, on Psy. because Fry is very much a thing. I'm getting really lucky with these dice rolls, though. Woo! Love it. Come to a river? No, nah, come to a river is not impactful enough. Is the overlay, overlay working? It should be. Hold on. Check on tap real quick. It's on my screen right now. Enable overlay, yeah. Oops. It should be. I have the insole artifact in hand, so that makes Dark Steel Citadel look pretty tempting. I also have three activations on an automaton. Let's cut the Citadel. Overlay is on, but it's not feeding any data. That's weird. Why is it doing that? It's on Twitch. I shouldn't have to, like, hit any new buttons, right?
Do you want to know why I wouldn't be showing up? Account settings? This arena's on. Uh, show player deck window. I don't know. Don't know if this is the right choice. It damages a lot. And then sets up my surge engine to start getting in unblockable. And they're not gonna block. There'd be no reason to. If I really get scared, I can block with Surge Engine, but I think me getting in for 8 damage here puts me in a better position to close out the game than them. Should I run 4 Surge Engines? On the play? I don't know about on the draw, but on the play. Just goes another Bone Crusher Giant. Not terribly exciting. Yeah, they're in block mode. I think I still attack in with the Stone Coil Serpent. It would be a trade out, but it would take out both of them and I get another two more points of damage. Yeah, I think the trample is just important here. Go to seven. Second surge engine. Play that for blue. I've had uh, builds of the deck with Emery before, and Emery just always kind of seemed okay. He's one of them. And just goes Elvish Mystic.
Just in case. What, maybe you want to build Insole? It was the very first Pioneer I deck I built. Plus, when I first came back into Magic, that was Core Set 2015, where Insole Artifact is from. And it just was felt so good to play and seemed so amazing. And I just kind of generally like artifacts. Same plan, a bit more on the reactive side. Seems like it's another red-green ramp deck. I've considered Trash Bot before. Problem with that one is... Um, Usually, I don't end up with a whole lot of artifacts in the graveyard. Am I going to continue the Final Fantasy series? Yeah. I kind of have a deadline now, don't I, with Final Fantasy 16 coming out. exciting thing in the world. Still keepable. Ray Ray, I was playing Final Fantasy XIV last night. I finally got caught up on the story. Lion Sash is very mana intensive. But yeah, that was another one I considered when Kamigawa came out. That's how I was playing fourteen last night? That's exactly what I was playing fourteen last night. Got the automaton. I think we saved the ornithopters for automaton because I can beef that dude up to something huge right away, and I didn't want to play into a bone crusher giant stomp. <laughs> Second automaton. Would I greedily wait to have both automatons down? Just go blap, 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 blap. I think I would. <laughs> I'm going greedy. Let's go greedy. You can't stop all the automatons as Ward. Seeker's Chariot is a problem, though. I can try to make it as awkward for him as possible and portable hole one of the cats. This does get me some chumpies. Oh, 
Oh my god. I just made a 5-5 five, five and a 4-4 four, four in a single turn. Blip, 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 blip. Fable of a mirror breaker is such a pain in the ass. How do I want to deal with that? The running answer might just be to fly over the top. Third Bone Crusher Giant, though. Oh, this costs four to channel. rough. Okay, go Kev. Thanks for gifting out a sub. Super irritated. Mm -hmm. Make a treasure. Rowan War. Oh, and use the treasure? Okay. So I can hit the Accrual and Roar now, and that gives me a 5-5 to block with. I mean, I still have a 4-4 to block with, so surely they're just looking to Embercleave or something here, right?
a second mirror breaker. Well, land's not gonna do it. Okay. Well, mirror breaker is a good reason to play glass caskets. Or even portable holes to hit their um, tokens. I didn't see a whole lot of disdainful stroke targets. Aside from like a Seekus Chariot. Something like a negate to deal with a uh, fable. But also, yeah, I think just negate. Guess we'll go with that. Okay, Surge Engine, Portable Holes, and Genius Smith. Lots of options. Mm. Patrick Automaton is a good get. It's immediately protected. Next turn, Ingenious Smith into Ornithopter. Because then Automaton and Ingenious Smith go to, both get a counter. If I hit a land drop, I can get the portable hold down to open up a path for the Automaton. Nice. I feel like they have a stomp. If they don't, I can play a second Ornithopter to get Smith a bit bigger. Likely a stomp, though, right? Nothing? That could be huge.
Next turn, I'm looking to go Ornithopter Surge Engine. Obliterating Bolt. Does this have to hit an opponent's creature? Okay, so I don't have to get my own, which is good. So I could just drop these just to keep building Patchwork Automaton up. Be like, again, trying to play around the stomp here. There's the Abrade. So I can activate Surge Engine, get in for five. Be more mana efficient, drop Stormcrawl Serpent though. This is why I like the A Patrick Atomton so much, just because Braid is so efficient. But as soon as you change it to just being like, well, 4 4, much less good. way it's worth portable holding my own serpent that does nothing for me just keeping the stone coil serpent back to potentially block an ornithopter because if i top deck like a scissors i can portable hold a serpent play ornithopter or uh install an ornithopter bring them down to one but they also need an answer for the surge engine one more land also lets me activate surge engine draw three This has to be three or less.
I mean, I get the plan. They can crew the Sikashiri at upkeep. Which would force it to kill itself. Another option is I could have glass. Can I glass casket my own things? No, I can't. Damn. Yeah, they could have crewed a Seekers Chariot in response. Make Stone Coil Serpent kill itself, and they didn't. So, Blackstaff, some scissors, ends the game. A Ginger Brute would do it. It's looking good. Can't really attack. They're gonna use him to crew the, the chariot. I gotta land. Land's not good enough. I need like Moon Snare. Moon Snare prototype would do it too. I got chill. That sucks. They're gonna flip. They get bigger. I have some good amount of life total to use still. I have so many outs. So that's four ginger brutes, four instill artifacts. That's eight cards that help me win. What else would do it? Uh, two moon snare prototypes. That's ten cards. All that would help me win. And then. Technically, you got like the three ingenious smiths that could help find a ginger brew. So, about 25% of my deck could top deck some lethal. They are attacking for 10 here, though. Let's make it eight. Unless they got a removal spell. One card in hand. Pretty long pause. I don't believe you. Ginger Brute. You gotta be the guy. It says beginning a combat on your turn. Let's go! K 
killed by a snack. Come on, baby. Yeah! <laughs> Y'all, Pioneer's fun. Level up! You know, maybe some enchantment base removal would help. I could just have disenchants and sideboard. Fragmentize is cheap and efficient too. Yeah, Frost Dragon may not be too bad. The only thing I get scary about a lot of those. Oh, Citizen's Crowbar? Maybe a Citizen's Crowbar. It's an artifact, it has synergy. And does allow me to hit artifacts or enchantments. It is slow. Or just destroy evils. Destroy evils gives so many options. That will hit like Questing Beast, it would hit Love Struck Beasts. I've yet to cast a Michiko's, but I've cast Michiko's Reign of Truth once, and it just kind of seemed fine. Burning, Banishing Slash could be okay? Because there's a good chance I'm going to have at least an artifact. Maybe enchantment. I kind of like destroy evils. Might be less interested in ether gust. Divine Gambit is absolutely not. There's a Nulls. It's pretty narrow. Yeah, Michiko's just kind of feels like a win more card. Fabricate. Counter target activate or triggered ability. Could be a thing too. Frost could be a thing for a potential sideboard versus mono red. Yeah, that just kind of get into expensive things after that. Could try something like Staggering Insight, but that seems more, more grieve than blue-white.
Shine Chaser wasn't good enough. Ah, oh, that's six mana? No. That's too much. Devout Decree? Not sure if I know that one. Oh, Exile Black or Red Creature? Maybe. I don't know if that's worth it in the meta. The only one I'm not like, super certain on right now is Michiko's Reign of Truth. I might just take this out and go up more Surge Engines. Let's try more Surge Engines. Try that. What do you guys think of the deck so far, though? I am very curious as to seeing what a uh, what the blue red version looks like. Just because sudden shrapnel blast to deal five to the opponent's face is pretty good. Giving him double strike with um, what's it called? Wild slash. We've kept one land hands before. Everything in here does cost two. But I need at least two mana to... I need at least two mana. Fine. I can make it work. Not a great start. White gives me caskets. White is for portable holes, glass casket, ingenious smith. Well, shit. It also gives um, sideboard options, like destroy evils. Amount of white humans. Land? I got the block with Ginger Brute. Potentially Insol. Yikes, dude. Yeah, it doesn't feel great. I think I just need to insult.
Does he mean if I got Smith down? All right. That's enough. Okay, so maybe this time. Take out the rebukes, they're gonna be casting too fast. Take out the spear, take out the soul guide lantern. Destroy evils could come into play. Throw one of in there. Alright, maybe this time I don't mulligan down to five and still have a poor hand. That's not better. I'll just draw land. Right? Got like a 40% chance drawing a land? It's pretty good. That's like 100. Damn, always curving out that lieutenant, though. I hate this game. Jesus! That pops off. Oh, good. You made it. It's my plan for after that, though. Don't really have one. Maybe I can get a land ingenious smith into a portable hole. It's not very good. Just throwing it after. Damn. Yeah. This was just non games. You guys saw, like, the hands. Ugh. Yeah, no opening, uh, no portable holes in the opening hand. Yeah, it's 22 lands. And the Moonsnare prototypes does help give a little bit of colorless. Which I think I do like those more than the uh, Springleaf drums. Yeah, welcome to the show, Drum Mama. We have Surge and Ginger Dale. It feels pretty good. Um, yeah. 
A little more lanes than I would like, but... I can beat ass. Rawr. So looking to... I'd rather insole the Dark Steel Citadel than the Ginger Brute, I think. Mm. Would I? This is Mono Blue Spirits. This is more aggressive. I can see myself getting punished for it. Alright, I have not played against Mount of Blue Spirits yet, so I actually don't know how the matchup goes. So this will be a learning experience. Because then you also play like the Ascendant Spirit after this. It's like the white guy that can get whited to be bigger or snowed I should say oh with curious obsession is that card better than I think I just feel like stuff is too vulnerable for that That could be an okay way to just uh, retain some retain some uh, some card advantage. Yeah, because if I don't have a portable hole to answer that, they're just gonna keep popping off. I'm drawing so many lands. Probably just use the ginger brute to have a snack. Gives him plus one, plus one as well. Yeah. I've also seen versions of this deck that uses all that glitters. Just to make him, like, as beefy as possible. There's almost a part of me that I think prefers not doing that, though. Like, I'd almost rather draw more cards. I win next turn. Game the life. Land. Odawara that. Interesting. Alright. I think I drew too many lands that game. I played two cards. <laughs> I think I actually want to bring in the size, because making some... 1-1 one, one Ornithopters could be huge. Stormcloud Serpents will look good. Moonsnare might be too slow. Same with Surge Engine. Metallic Rebukes is a big maybe. Maybe down an automaton. They're not gonna really play removal. Yeah, I was just thinking 
portable holes is probably the most important thing here, and I didn't get one. Neat. Guess I put it down, because if I draw a uh, scissor and something, I did not. This isn't a great hand either, huh? Did have the dispute. That's a bummer. Slip that out the back. All the more reason I can throw that into a portable hole. No curious obsession, at least. About them having like a second slip out the back. Might be worth waiting until I get the Stone Coil Serpent to being a 5 5 because I can block the Faceless Haven. Like, I'm already playing defensive, even though it's on the draw on the play. And again, a Stone Coil Serpent for, for uh, three also stops the Faceless Haven, I guess. Three Faceless Havens. Yeah, there's the Ascendant Spirit. I think I need to hold the Ascendant Spirit. That like becomes a two three, activate again becomes a flying four four. Yeah. What does rail chains do? Target creature gets hexproof on a turn. Okay.
activate, put down the staff, put on the stone coil serpent, just make it into a 9-9 nine -nine attack. There are no news about new cards coming to Explorer. There is more cards coming tomorrow. It's like 26 new cards. Don't see a way for them to get lethal back this turn. I have lots of blocks for flyers. I can't say I'm super concerned about taking four. Spread this out a little bit. Try to give him as awkward blocks as possible. Really? You go to one? This looks good. Pay four just to draw a card, which makes it so they can't activate the Faceless Haven, so this still tramples through for lethal. Yeah, I don't know why the overlay isn't working. I've got everything, like, active. Maybe I just need a restart? I don't know. Hey! I didn't lose. Okay. Stonecoil Serpents did work. Disdainful Stroke doesn't hit anything in their deck. That's an acceptable opening hand. At least Smith into an Ornithopter.
Hmm, and we got the portable hole. Be efficient and start getting counters onto this smith. I don't want them to have like the that phase out thing where they get a plus one plus one counter and phase out. So I want to, like, play the portable hole around that. So next turn, I'm probably going to go side Master Thopterist. I can also just play the Patchwork Automaton, attack the Genius Smith. Leaving up one land means they could just be holding up a counter spell. Yeah, I don't want to get mystical di disputed. At least this could potentially set up a solid attack here. Please activate Faceless Haven and block. Feels like I'm walking into a counter spell here. There it is. I think that's okay. I'm starting to get beefy. Five, eight, activate here is 12. I can bring him to one.
This kind of gives me multiple outs. Unblockable, big things. Bounce something back to their hand. So this has to be legendary creature, so the black staff does not count towards it. Just rattle chains? Yep. Fine with me. Me mop. We got there. Dang. That took effort. That's Mono Blue Spirits. Dex no joke. Hard to play around. Madam Rika, thanks for the resub. How goes it so far? It's going alright. It kind of feels nice to be playing some Constructed. That's not alchemy. Important caveat there. Smiths and an ornithopter? Hell yeah. Is this training for competish? Well, this is my. This is me trying to figure out how I want to adjust my. My actual pioneer deck. Because I have not played this particular Pioneer deck uh, since since Lurus was banned. Oops, all ingenious Smith. Fable. Ooh, although a Shadow Spear changes things. Let's find out, actually. It's near prototype. I can work with that. Sort of. Equip cost two. Nah, I think we just go with that. Beef him. I got three cards that. Makes automaton bigger next turn.
What is this? Indomitable creativity? You did all that just to... What? For each permit, destroy this card. It's reveal... This control reveals cards on the top. Exile until you get a thing. I mean, I get it. Oh, this guy just stays there, huh? Okay. Yeah. Don't want you making treasures. I see. And then they use uh, Kiki Jiki to copy Agent of Treachery. Okay. Not super concerned about taking damage, but I can Shadow Spear up. Unless you have three or more other mountains. Yep. What would help me the most? Jesus. Well, that's all the agents of treachery. And they don't have the mana to take my automaton. Oh, it took my Moonstare prototype. I actually wanted that. Jesus Christ. This drew nine cards? That's not what I wanted. I wanted to be able to channel this. All right. Can I disdainful stroke that stupid spell? Creativity is three. That's a bummer.
Let's bring in the Mystical Dispute as well, even though it kind of feels bad. Yeah, so long as I can just stop the indomitable creativity, or even just like the Kikijiki plan. Good work against creativity, because you'd be at least four around the stack. Yeah, because it's X, what? Right? If I saw the card right? So really, I need to watch out for them getting 4 plus mana. That's when the deck pops off. And this hand is not really conducive for that. Ward! Well, with Improvise, I can do a sneaky Metallic Rebuke. Deal 3 damage everything and exile them? Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. That helps. Alright, let's see if we got that indomitable bullshit so I can negate it. Scissors would be amazing. What's the web thing? Ward. Oh! Oh, but now you can't hit the automaton, nerd! What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Ward. What? You want to hit an Ornithopter? Is that what you want? You want to, you want to get rid of the Ornithopter? Would that feel good? Bitch. <laughs> you popped that off a little fast, didn't you? Oh no, my Ornithopter. Not what I wanted, but still helpful. I feel like if they're blocking like that, maybe they don't have a... This has a creature, so they can't copy the touch of the spirit realm. This forces a block and takes out the Kiki Jiki.
And then I can leave up Mystical Dispute. Sweet. Nice. I still got the rebuke. Yeah, eat my ass. So what cards are they looking for? Oh, this only hits creatures. They'd be looking for, like, obviously there's the Agents of Treachery in there, but they must have, like, other big dick creatures, right? That are looking to, like, cheat out. No others? Really? So if I had, like, the frickin' scrap brain in the sideboard or whatever, I could just play that and be like, Agent of Treachery, go fuck yourself. And then they just don't have a game plan? Hmm. Seems like they're really relying on, uh, on uh, those agents of treachery, then. Oh, yeah, they can't have other creatures, or they won't pop off. Nice. Every time! Is it correct to leave up the negate here? Feels like I should be playing negate on their turn instead. Because if they get Kiki Jiki down, I can take out the 2 2 and then have them Talk Rebuke for after. Just kind of feels bad. Okay. That's kind of okay because they're being really mana inefficient.
I'm gonna spook you just enough and leave mana up. to teach you. If I play this, I can't activate it and Metallic Rebuke still. Unless I don't attack with Stone Coil Serpent. That's rough. I'm in trouble. Keep watch for intruders. Okay, they're just cycling though, so maybe they haven't been able to find the thing yet. Kinda wish I was able to negate that. All right, I think we go same plan here. I guess putting on the portable hole probably would have been a better choice. Because then I have two creatures to block with. Not that I necessarily need to block right now. Because now it's, how do I win from here? Remember your training. A land doesn't really do it. A little in trouble. Best thing I could find would be Ingenious Smith, because I could find multiple things to play in one turn.
I won't die. I also have to eat a snack. I go to one. I need her dead. One eight zero. Deal three damage to target creature. I'll just make him into a worse blocker. No? And you didn't activate Wandering Emperor? Did you forget? No, I just made another 2-2. Two, two. Oops. I'm pretty dead. Oh, did you finally, finally find the indomitable creativity? No. Just as one last fuck you. Damn it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, that's <you> enough. <laughs> that deck's obnoxious. Not exactly a competitive deck, but that seems like one of those decks where people like playing it on Arena because it takes care of all of the like shuffling and pulling stuff out of their deck for them. You know? Staff, Ginger Brute, Stone Coil? Yes, ma'am. Second Ginger Brute. Is pretty popular in the world championships. In the world championships? Do you have opt or something? Thank you, Jesus.
Is this the uh, same blue red spell deck that we played earlier? Spinning Hope does hit it, because it's any creature, not non-land creature. Oh, is this just the Phoenix deck? This is just Phoenix deck, yeah. No Phoenix is in the graveyard yet, though. Just hard casts it. That's an early scoop. More soul guide lanterns. The Phoenix costs four, right? Yeah, it costs four, but it's Almost always just like from the graveyard. You go down a surge engine. Down a ginger brew. I don't want them. They got a lot of like just spot removal with those guys. Whereas something like Patrick Automaton with the wards could help more. Maybe I should have brought more counter spells? No, I need a color. I said I need a color. Ugh, I guess. Oh, they also went down to five. Well, this will be exciting. So that's like when you cast three spells, you get it back? Yeah. lands or something, nerd. Ooh, two phoenixes. Okay. Soul Guide Lantern would be awesome. I 
I know they got like the fading hope and shit. So I think actually having Patchwork Automaton with the ward class setup is probably the better choice. Could also just Stone Coil Serpent for one, because I have the install artifact in hand. We get a plus one plus one counter onto the automaton railway. Right Actually, don't hate that. And it uses up all my mana. Next turn, I can surge engine and in soul. Played out the Atara rather than using it to bounce something. What is this? You may cast up to one target instant into our sorcery. Does that count as the three to get their Arc like, Arclight Phoenixes out then? I imagine. Yeah, it does. Okay. Most efficient way to do this. That's seven damage. We go to six. Third path. Make the automaton to a 7-7, seven, seven, which they can just chomp. Alright, need to get awkward blocks. I know Phoenix is considered to be like one of the best decks out there too. Oh, again? Only this time they're getting the Abrade? Ah, uh, that's a lot of 1-1s. One yeah, that's a bit tougher. So I was thinking if they just only had like one blocker, maybe I could moon snare it. So it's turns like this where having like uh right, I'm dead. Alcahas, thank you for the resub. It 
It still doesn't seem like I want portable hole. Even if he drops the iconoclasts. But maybe I want a couple. I still like having the size because making a bunch of thopters just to chump with would stop the arc like Phoenix plan pretty well. Jeez. That's hardly ideal. What's rough about that is like the single of Bray just ruins me. And they're kind of representing the uh, Fading Hope right now. That was this deck, right? That had the Fading Hope? Just bounce. That thing. Okay, well suddenly this looks a little bit better. There's one phoenix. Act like you have it. Maybe it would have been better to put that onto one of the Stone Coil Serpents, because if they had the bounce spell, these coming back to my hand wouldn't be too bad because I could play it for bigger. Easy bad games, thanks for the all new Twitch Prime sub, I really appreciate it. Button up your blue shirt, enjoy all of your emotes. They do nothing and I have lands. Bounce them. Okay. It still can't block. Alcan block. So with that. Met me at Pax Eats a hundred years ago. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> I'm excited for 16, but the only thing I'm not sold on is the combat. Just because it's like not my style style or taste of combat whatsoever. You know what's impressive? I have a 22 land deck and I'm flooding out. <laughs> you gotta admit, not many people can do that. But this guy. <laughs> Fucking. Blap. Alright, good flood, good flood. Hey, Sprinkles. Yeah, Phoenix is still a pretty tough matchup. Queen. Kizuna, also the Twitch Prime resub. Glad you enjoyed the Parasite Eve playthrough.
Oh, by the way, chat. Huge thank you to everyone who subscribed to the uh, game uh, for the VODs channel because it's finally monetized. Ugh! I know I shouldn't keep it. That Lord of the Rings meme? After all, why shouldn't I keep it? You good, you fucker. Eh. <laughs> eh. This sucks. Oh, uh, yeah. We're just gonna put you down. I have insult artifact in my hand. Eh. Bitch. Is this the worst match ever? How do you have so many Mausoleum Wanderers? I'll take the four. You got me. Ah, oh, land. All right, they have one card in hand. I got Sneaky Reach. Sneaky reach, sneaky reach, sneaky reach, sneaky reach, sneaky reach. It's happening, chat. Sneaky reach. S bitch. You're a bitch. Way to bitch out, you bitch. Okay, let's remember here. <sighs> Mystical Disputes. Maybe a side just to get thick in the air. I feel like Tomaton might be a bit too slow. Lantern out, Shadow Spear out. Brute down. I don't know if I love the metallic rebukes, because I feel like I'm still attacking enough on the ground with bigger stuff. Let's go down one rebuke. Nope, not destroy evil. That's not supposed to be there. Dead end to do din. Bada boo boom. I actually like this. Grass casket looks good. Let's put this down now since I have no reason to uh, hold on to it without something in my hand for it. Be better to glass casket the supreme phantom now, or I can set up my surge engine and start attacking next turn. I think I need a surge engine. Uh. 
I do have Ornithopter chumps if I need to. I also have Stern Coil Serpent to start blocking. Hey, Retro United Gaming, welcome to the stream. Yeah, the guy that gives the guy hexproof. There's brazen borrowers. You delay the inevitable. How do you work? Yeah, flash. Going block creatures with flying. Try to use up my mana here. That's fine. Still in a pretty good position. Dispute helps. I want to leave out the mystical dispute. And now metallic rebuke? That's quite good. We can activate Metallic Rebuke and Mystical Dispute. That's fine. blocks I'm trying to see think of a way they can like kill me next turn This is actually pretty good.
Uh, these both should be unblockable. If they got some nonsense, I can rebuke. Hey, we got there. Okay. So it's doing pretty good versus... Mono Blue Spirits. Yeah, Kado, other people have been saying that the over -tapped, or untapped overlay just isn't working for some reason. Couldn't tell you why. Like, everything's active on my end. Alright. Let's do, like, one, maybe two more matches. I still want to consider the blue-red option. I also had like a uh, like a blue black build that I was messing around with, just based around virus beetles, because the uh, discard effect is just very strong. I go first, and there's no color. I'll draw land. Yep. I kept saying I wanted two lands, and look, two lands. Okay. Worst comes to worst, I sack this for a card. Bogda. Please. Fuck. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Uh huh. Clothes. Fuck. Eh. How do you work? Is the exile a thing to do a thing? Targ Nar Pack Tactics? We got there. Hell yeah. Patchwork Automaton, baby! Take five. Mox Amber? Hey. That's cute. I've never seen that animation. Oh, this is the Red Green Legendaries deck. I've heard of the tales. They seem to be lacking mana sources, though. Still have one blue, though. One colored mana, period. Could swing in for six. Swinging for 11. We're just swinging for 10.
I'd be fine with trading out the automaton here. Another Magda. Forcing to block with Helena and Elena. Bring with three. Clothis gets disabled. Oh, thank Bark Madly. Appreciate the bits. Glad you enjoyed the Parasite E playthrough. Radha? Radha's not gonna be enough. I got blocks. Yeah, that's game. Hey, you know what? I think I did all right for not having a colored mana source. I only have one mana left, right? Bong. All right, red, green, legendaries, huh? So it's a lot of cheap stuff. Destroy evil could actually end up being pretty helpful, since we're looking to play enchantments or or, or getting big with them. Any teasers for the next gameplay series? I've teased one of them in the Discord. Stonecrawler Serpents are going to be hilarious in this matchup. Like, hilarious. If I can get any of them down, it just shuts down their entire game plan. I guess. I think it is casket. Get my pain land down, or my shock land. Not getting too punished for it. Kodama of the West Tree. 3-3 three, three reach does some stuff. Let's see if we can get out of this first. Another automaton or the ornithopter? Actually, I actually liked how well ornithopter worked last time. Perhaps when you do like combat damage. Oh, they have to be modified, then you get a land. Yeah, whatever. You're running like giant growth? 
No? Okay. Oh, they just had a second one in hand. I am a fan of the automaton. The only thing that, like, is a bummer about it is if they go, um, if they go the, like, board wipe, like, destroy all creatures lure three or less or anything similar, then it's super dead. There's not much you can do about it. I think I'm just gonna bust a nut here. Hmm, to me, your sacrifice. So at this point, how does my opponent win? Like this is three unblockable damage. So they have to block Ornithopter and Patrick Automaton go down to two. Bust a nut. You heard what I said. Oh, you can pay it so you can double his power and toughness. Um, I think I'd rather kill Kodama. A Steve Parker raid! Welcome, raiders. Welcome out to the stream. You caught us just in the middle of uh, playing some magic. As we look to... Uh... Oh, I can destroy evil response. That's extra funny. Oh, you're still very dead, though? Yeah, they're still very dead. <laughs> I'm in the middle of um, trying to get my personal Pioneer deck up and going in Arena. So, for those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Pro Jared. I really like two things. One, Magic the Gathering, which I play every single Monday for Magic Monday. And I really like RPGs. So I'm usually playing some Final Fantasy bullshit. Uh, currently going through every single Final Fantasy game. We've got 1 through 12 done. Also, Crisis Core comes out tomorrow. Fingers crossed. I sh I'm hoping to do a Crisis Core stream tomorrow. Welcome to the stream. If any of that stuff sounds like it's your jam, feel free to hit that follow button. I stream four days a week. Monday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. probably wait on the ornithopter until I can ingenious smith it out. Oh. I say like an insole artifact. That's still fine. Because I can get my smith up to a 2-2 a as well. What did I find? Ginger Brute, Black Sath, and Stone Coil? I don't know what I'm facing, so I'm going to grab the Stone Coil. Play something against two mana or less. It would help me a lot. That's three mana! I guess it's fine though, for now. Still doesn't have a means of blocking. I forgot about this Elementals deck. Oh boy. Yep, there it goes. Find all the lands. Land, land. Neem Snare Prototype. Uh, 
So I can insole the Ornithopter and make it into a 5-5. Five, five. That's a guaranteed 8 damage. Play Soul Guide Lantern as well. Bring in Genius Myth up one more point. Or I could play out Stone Coil Serpent for 4. I think I want to surprise on the Ornithopter for as long as I can. Get them when they're not expecting it. Yeah, I don't see the portable holes doing much. Especially with how much they've already ramped. Fires an invention to an Omnath. You can only cast during your turns. You cast no more than two spells. So I just win here, yeah? Lamau? Blap, blap, blap! <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know what they sideboard in, but I don't think portable holes are going to do much. Destroy evils, yes. Glass caskets, a little bit more helpful. Uh, is this... <sighs> Probably some, like, disdainful strokes, right? Because they're looking to ramp up into, like, big dick things. Could keep up negate for that fire as an invention? Don't know how worth that is, though. Could also bring in the size. Maybe making a bunch of one ones to chump with could be good. How's this look? Well, I do have a turn to Ornithopter. That's alive. Or I can save her for the Automaton. Leaning towards saving her for the Automaton. Or maybe I should have played the Moonsnare prototype. I didn't really see him do much interaction. So maybe they like, they just don't? Next turn, I want to go Psy into Moonsnare Prototype because I can start making Thopters to Insole. Ah, they have the temporary lockdown. This has to be cast. Bummer. Didn't know anyone was playing this.
do have destroy evils in the deck, which would bring them all back. Don't know how helpful that actually is. Is it worth hitting the Omnath or Karuga? Or destroy maybe destroying the fires of the invention. I probably just should have just destroyed the fires of invention, right? Oh, it's right, you gain poor life every time that happens. Ugh. Well, I don't want to destroy the fires, because I feel like they got a second one. This will just give him a bunch of mana. But they already cast the two spells for the turn, right? I thought Insult Artifact would hit the battlefield. But I guess it's targeted, or...? I thought for sure this would have hit the battlefield first and then I could find a target for it, but okay. I think I'm too far behind. They've gained like 20 life off Omnath alone. I'm not going to be able to push any, any more damage. I'll scoop it up. Let's not use the thought, the sigh there. You didn't feel very good. Portable holes still aren't doing anything. Guess we go. The Mystical Disputes. Try to play a little more controlly and counterspell lockdowns and stuff. Dude, these one land hands.
Oh, I don't even have a white source for the glass caskets. What am I doing? Playing magic poorly, that's what. Ah, cringe. Wow, they really hate the leyline binding. This only hits creatures, right? Yeah. And keep up the disdainful stroke, and if they do nothing, I can activate Surge Engine. Abstract artifact or enchantment. Yeah, that's pretty good. Does give me a glass casket target at least. I think keeping up the disdainful stroke is better here. Still no white mana. Fuck. I don't see this going super well anyway. Now you're like getting mana or interaction. Lamau! Lamau! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I attack for five, bitch! Woo! Got him! Never not had it! <laughs> it's a... <laughs> that was a heart of the cards situation. Absolutely. That was like my only out. Look, if you want, if the opponent asks any one of you guys, I had that in my hand the entire time, and I used it to beat him. All right, I'm gonna wrap up this YouTube recording. Hey, YouTube, if you're watching this VOD, 
of uh, some constructed standard play. Much appreciated. Let me know what you thought, if this is a nice change of pace, if you want to see more of it, or if you prefer to see me do more drafts and limited stuff. Let me know. Comment. Subscribe. All that good stuff for the uh, algorithm. But thanks so much for watching. The, the stream bot. I'll see you later, YouTube.